As evening falls, a new day dawns for the Party Poker European Open 5. The first semifinal, guaranteed seats already filled. Who will notch that first chair in the second semifinal? And the shot at a $200,000 first prize. Neil Channing is a man in form. Can anyone stop him? A monkey, a mouse, perhaps even a full house. For 20 years, the ultimate grinder, Neil Channing, has spent the last 12 months taking the limelight for himself. Irish Open champion, World Open runner-up, and seven in-the-money finishes in the last WSOP have seen millions roll in. I think this format is, is definitely a, a crackable puzzle. Um, the good thing is that um, I keep saying that on TV and I keep telling people that uh, I'm playing to a formula and people still seem to just play their same way and they don't seem to play differently against me. Um, I think there must come a time where people start to adjust their strategy uh, towards me just basically playing very tight early and then uh, starting to loosen up later on. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet so uh, let's hope it doesn't happen today. Probably the most relentless talker in the Western world, John Tabatabai is an information gatherer to the extreme. A $100,000 win in Australia only a matter of weeks ago puts him as a man with a plan to win. The first tournament I, I sprung into light, as you will, was coming second in the inaugural World Series of Europe back in 2007. Um, since then, I've won the All-African Championships, which was in Swaziland of all places uh, last year. And, of course, TV tournaments, they always like to show the exciting hands, which tends to be when I'm bluffing or making, you know, some sort of hero call with, I don't know, whatever, Jack High or something. So I guess that's going to give me quite a bad image. And I have to see who's thinking like that and, you know, use that to my advantage on the table today. Dale Hoy has risen from being a tournament novice to a pressure specialist. He broke through with a heat win his last time out in this format and followed it up with a big finish. Deep in the money in the main event of the World Series of Poker. Confident to the extreme. I had a great finish in the WSOP in uh, Vegas, uh, 125th. Uh, it was magnificent. Probably one of the, the, the best four in my life. It was just an unbelievable roller coaster, and um, I'm looking forward to doing it again. But it was uh, a superb experience and uh, played with some of the best, best players in the world, and uh, that can only be a good thing. Monkey Harris from Brighton is well known on the European circuit. He's played this format a few times before, but still waiting to break through with his first heat win. With a name like Monkey, you know he's not fooling around. Paul the Jeweler Grummet plays as advertised. He's flashy, he's expensive, and he's full of sparkle. He's the ultimate action man. Soft-spoken but tiger-hearted, Pippa Flanders has a World Open title under her belt, and when she says raise please, the others will run. When the draw the came out for the European this Open this 5, this and heat had stars, that. bells, and whistles around it. I'm here like with Mark Goodwin. And Mark, yeah, a lot yeah, of boy, characters, boy, characters boy. on this table, a lot of good poker players, too. Chips on the table, uh, yellow chips worth a thousand, blues are two, reds uh, 5k apiece, 100,000 in front of every player, and uh, 600,000 in play. This is going to be tough. Neil Channing won the Irish Open, absolutely on fire. He's known locally as the Easter legend. I mean, you guys have had some real, you know, publicized, televised poker battles, it seems like, you know? Yeah, we've had a few. He gets a better of us at this time. I mean, what do you make of Neil's game in this format? You know, what does he do? Well, I mean, Neil's been a cash player for a long, long time, and uh, he's, like, burst onto the tournament poker scene with some great victories last year, and uh, just to see if he moves on from there, really. Then Roland is it one. cold in there? Uh, is Paul OK? Uh, yeah, he lost quite a lot of <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Moscow. Recently, I think originally he did lose the bet. Yeah, I didn't know he lost the bet, but he did. Because he lost a lot of wine. Yeah, last I year remember Vegas. he lost a lot of wine. Check, check. She's looking very nice in a cashel blue dress there. <laughs> she is. Deuce. Channing with or the or nuts. Three. Similar. Pippa three. does have a flush. She's got the second nuts. Oh, three. my For goodness. Three thousand. Oh, you have a three. Cool. I mean, she could this be out. She could be get so stacked awful. off. I, I don't know how she can get away from this. This is going to be tough. Well, how, could she, how could she get away from it? Don't raise. But how can she not? Raise, please. Raise. 
I mean, it's Oversville for her, isn't it? Ow, what a flop she had. I mean, open ended straight and then second nut flush draw and she's hit what she thinks is her perfect card. I don't know, I'm gonna get more league going on. This is serious for Channing. Now the raise is is only seven thousand more. Um he's got a player behind him. Is he better off re raising? He raised to twenty thousand. Mm. How did he know? Yes. She's just gonna check call him out. I don't think oh. she's gonna go out. She's she's done really well here. You think she suspects that Channing could have the yeah, ace flush? most definitely. It's gone really quiet down there. Now she's gonna, the dude. She's going to check call. I'm pretty sure of that. King high flush? Is it me? Is it me? Yeah, check. And I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. what Channing's trying to... He's trying to figure out how strong she is because he wants to know if he should be greedy, right, Mark? I'm thinking he's going to bet something like... 24, 30,000, something like that. What does he... She's, she's yeah. definitely going to call, so. What does he put her on? Well, she can't fold no matter what he bets. No. Uh, Not in this format, sure. An all-in push she might fold, too, actually. She's good enough to fold it. I'm thinking it's 24, 30,000. 27,000. That wasn't a bad shout, was it? 24, 30, he bets 27. He's listening. If and this she is a call. just calls here, it she's... Is, it is only a call. She's done brilliantly. She will just call. She's got the second nuts, Mark. There's only three guys in the hand. This would be the best in the world if she passes and shows. But, I mean, isn't it likely that Channing could have a, a, a lower flush? No, what's likely is that neela has got ace flush and someone else has been dealt second best flush. Wow. What is shocking is that it, it took more than six hands to happen. <laughs> is this the thing you've been talking about, the Channing? Oh, no, it's... Oh. Well, she, no, she's done very well. I, I mean, I... I am. How? Look, look at it. I mean, how can you she do that? I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I don't know how anybody can not lose all their money there. Mark. She played great. And do you know what? I honestly what think she was close to folding. Second, that's. Uh, the only thing I'm, I'm oh betting against is that yeah. she hasn't got it. Yeah. Well you done, said she, she was close to folding. How can you lose a pot? I mean, she doesn't feel like she won it now, but she looks I like she did. For Channing, is this uh, like the way it's been the last 12 I months? Mark? I refuse to so comment on whether line. he's lucky or not. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting me into that debate. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, what can he do? You know, he can only play what he's dealt, can't uh -huh. he? You know. Interesting stuff there. Let's hear from Nick Perso. The second nuts on a dry board, and Pippa doesn't go broke. I'm joined by poker analyst Nick Perso. And Nick, was Pippa legendary? How does she give Channing credit for the nuts? I have absolutely no idea. Most players would go stone cold broke by playing that hand. I might have done, you might have done, Jesse. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know how she's figured out that Neil happens to have that hand. She lost the absolute minimum there, credit to her for, for doing that. And what about Channing? Is he kicking himself when he finds out what could have been? I don't mind saying this because Neil's a very good friend of mine, but Neil should have sent her broke there. His bet on the turn was too small. He should make a bigger bet so she can check raise more, and then he can make an even bigger raise, and he can get it all in with her. He's making small bets, she's making small raises. I would have liked to see Channing play the hand faster. And finally, Jesse, his bet on the river. He bet just around half to two thirds of the pot. I think he should think it through and figure out she has a really strong hand there and make a really big bet on the river because I think, as we know, she would have to call. You can't win a big pot unless you open the door and pump it. And Pippa, survival, still the key. That first seed in the second semifinal guaranteed for the winner. But only death and taxes are guaranteed for a win. Plenty more poker to come in a minute. Welcome back to the Party oh, Poker you. European Open Television. 5. I'm here with Mark Goodwin. Mr. Cool. Obviously, it takes oh, more than a flush to knock some blood. Hand remote. <laughs> Card dictated. <laughs> 44,000. It's oh, oh, 11 big blinds. It's Thanks. still, um, that was probably the last <coughs> hand. Intentional. I, I'm guessing that she, um, what was it? Mark it's for Pippa take that she could actually uh, make yeah. a raise and then she get away from it. She can't, she can't play a raise fold too many times now. Those options are all gone. Pass. 
going to be an all-in that she needs to uh, get either a hand to hold up or she just gets lucky. Cool. <laughs> hmm. Pass. Why that decision? Maybe thinking that if she rises small and somebody pushes, it's not a hand she wants to call a re-raise with, so she's either got to move all in or just try and slow play, John. And if she goes all in, then it's just she's just risking too much to pick up too little. <coughs> yeah, I can see if she'd have moved all in and either of the lads behind had got a pair or a big ace they were going to call. So you, you, you like you like the decision there? Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. And what she does have to do now is play a flop against Tabat Tabai. The good news for Pippa is she's got him really wow. trussed up here. That is just a dream flop for Tita's hand. Do you, do you hear that? Yeah. It's the sound of John not talking. Well. Check. Check. Can you believe he's just hit the front with a five? It's just insane. He only had a five. Is that 10,000 out there? Oh. That's a bad card for Pippa. It's made John the straight. I mean, she would have won this pot on the flop and maybe on the turn, Mark. Did she just reckon that it wasn't a worthwhile risk here? I just thought she thought that her hand was so big that John's going to get Cole. busy Cole. and Cole, she's going to get his money. She's going to be feeling not too good when she sees that. She was 82% she was in the spot. Yeah. Everything is just not going so. wrong, isn't it? Everything's going wrong. I wish it had been any of the card or <laughs> the jack. <laughs> No, I could just have given it up. Uh, I should have just given it up. Runs until five in the morning, and the minimum sit down is four hundred, and people sit with an average of about eight or nine hundred. Uh, the ten twenty-five is going most of the time. Is that starting noon as well? It's not that Channing doesn't um, say anything Sometimes interesting. It's sort of like just the tone of his voice. It's Sometimes like this. That's the first game to get the I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's like this trail. constant. I mean, who am I to talk? Um, I know, but you know, Sometimes <laughs> it's the that, level he pitches at. the first game to get going. It's like game one of those one of those records you put uh, on late at and night and help you sleep. Two grand. Relax. Twelves and fifteen. Have you ever heard him talk about the trees and how beautiful life like is? And so it's it's wild, there's not a like sentence that doesn't come out that involves odds <laughs> or a poker hand. Well, was a kind of a really where the cash game is. Fifty hundred. Like quite a lot. Um, These guys are talking. I mean, Harris had a hand good enough to raise with, and Grumman had a hand good enough to call with. But this pot's happening now. Oh yeah. And. John Dwyer, Both these guys now have a Duffy's hand that's basically in their mind good enough to stack um, off with, right? Oh, sure. Houston, he was on They're the um, clash. He's on that program. And what was that? And I mean, obviously, uh, a a rag queen next card is just. Not quite much. Huge killer. Twelve thousand. Piers. Um, but Plus Morgan. Piers Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, between calling and raising uh -huh. here, he's just what play do you like for Grumman? Yeah, he's raising. That's what I like. Yeah. I didn't know they just found it. It is a joy board. He's only gone 12 with 12, and there's no way he can put this down, down for 12. Might even come back over the 12. top. 12 more. I mean, if, if you're sitting there with Monkey Harris's hand, you you cool. yeah, you I, would come over the top, wouldn't you? Um, or I just want to. I'm putting him on a big draw for the hearts. Not not necessarily 10 jack of hearts, but just a big flush draw. That's all he can have. He's got a set or a flush draw. I don't fancy he plays the set like that. So for me, he's got a draw. And he's made a, a small rise with the draw, so I'm just going to call and hope that it doesn't come a heart. And that, now push now type yeah, of thing? Yeah, and now bet. 25. And he's played this absolutely perfect. You see how hard <coughs> it is now? Yeah. I mean, you desperately want to. What, what he did there, though, by making that small raise, was he t took away any pot control he had. Right. Because if he gets smooth called behind and then the guy comes out betting, what can you do? But, uh, the best play would have just been to call and peel off, and the rest. Peel off another card. Yeah. Do you raise all in? It's not many more for Grumman. He says, if you got the nine, take it with you. And, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, both these guys uh, both these guys like this enough to, to go with it. But now, I mean, Grumman's ahead. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong way around. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're thinking I'm talking gobbledygook. I was thinking the other guy had King Queen. Oh, I do apologize. He's got mm. out. It's been a long day. Mm. Monkey mm. Harris yes. has out. Uh, I was thinking that Monkey had King Queen. How well he playing the hand. He's got slightly more Hot chips than Grumman. Four diamonds. 
And uh, for Paul, this is a chance to get right back in it. King's oh, nice full. He, uh, wow. Nice apple. Thank this you. is like, yep. uh, what was that? He feels with his He's at like rewind and uh, <laughs> he played the hand really well as opposed to he played it bad. <laughs> King's full beat a draw in the old the day and all Daniel the jewelers sparkling. True. Definitely the best fight to play. Pass. <coughs> this game is. It's like playing very straight. I mean, besides Tabby Tabby, who's doing a lot of bluffing, everyone else has been sort of like. Is they're locked into playing their cards. Yeah, it's been like ABC poker, and uh, we've got another big hand here. Raise 11,000 total. Yes. Comes Dale. Cool. And if is this a spot where where it would be a good spot for a squeeze play? I mean, we know it's not going to work, but yeah, I mean, you yes. have to feel that that's a squeeze opportunity without a shadow of a doubt. You know, it's got to go through your mind. Dale Hoy's in brilliant shape here. Oh gosh. It, oh. Is he going to get completely on? And when a guy leads out at you like this, do you, are, were you, are you fast playing with the kings or are you slow playing? Well, you see, the problem is he might be thinking he's on a flush draw or a straight draw, and you don't want the guy to go too far with it. You want him to make him pay. But by the same token, yeah. you can take raise. a chance that. You know, your kings are good. 50,000 total. Well, he's lost his customer here, hasn't he, by doing this, I think. I mean, that oh. pair with a king is a pretty big hand, isn't it? Yeah, but goodness me, that's scary. 15 up to 50? You know, you, you have to ask yourself, you know, there's a, realistically, there's only a few hands he can have here. He's raised pre-flop, so it's ace-queen. He's got a nut flush draw, something like the ace-king of diamonds. Oh. Or he's flopped a set don't fancy him flopping the sets because you don't think he'd raise you that much and then you go through all the thought process we raise all and those. you come up with the idea that the queen is cool. in front <laughs> <laughs> he shoved the ball in quick call from dale hoy and it's a great spot for the dale around, yeah. uh the king's not going to work for grummet these guys i don't know who's got more chips it's very close between them but paul's in trouble he might be out after this he's like um He's in trouble. And is it... Queen out. Still just the queen. I They're think it might be put your coat on, you're leaving. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, <then. laughs> Tip it with that squeeze blade would have the ace. Like you know, as far as uh, Grubbin's concerned, it feels like he just swallowed the seraphim. I mean, pass it over. Yeah, you're dead right there as well. Um, you know when we were talking about other people taking the bullet for someone? You know, people put the squeeze Sorry? play on there. Dale pushes all in. Paul gets away with his king queen, and Pippa ends up getting all the chips. Yeah. They get all nervous. Well, check. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's bigger than mine. That's for certain. Dale Hoy, 240,000. Um, you know, he got him in the big coup. And I mean, it's a lot of chips that Hoy's got now all of a sudden. He's a big blind here. And uh, I mean, is there any kind of mathematical strategy for playing one chip? Yeah. Order a cap. That did sound a bit suspicious. That'll put a lot of people in. That'll do. I'm on it. <laughs> He's uh, I was able to smile about it. You know, if he gets raised there and isolate, he's in a good spot. He's in a fantastic spot. He can quadruple up. Thank you, Neil, he says. A pass. So there's going to be four in the For four. Channing, he's getting a... Uh, King Queen. Neil makes a profit. He makes a lot of profit. No matter what. I'll have been in front. I made a profit already. <laughs> Typical bookie. He's going to lose the hand and make a, and book a profit. Yep. This is a Channing poker. But it's Grummet all in. And uh, a good favourite. Come on, Paul, you can do it. You can get out of this mess. <laughs> Might go to his. Oh, I'm from. Yeah, what, well, you were in front already? Uh, yeah. Um, every, even more in front. Every mountain climb begins just with just one hand. step. <laughs> I'm not going to waste him this time. Well, well, you, you can afford the blind then. Oh, that would be a 10. That would be really <laughs> cool. Runner, runner, straight. Queen, king, 10. Oh. Nice hand. Jack's up Here we go. It, it could be. It Nine could be. Like we know one more double oh, up and he'll be back <laughs> in uh, One more double up and he'll have the big blind. Yeah. <laughs>
Or was it Jack I think Jones? he's got hope. I think he believes. One yellow became two blues. It's like Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Give me the three reds. I you you <laughs> two dead money. That's what I wanted. Come resist. Is he under the gun here? Yeah. Here we go. What are you playing here? That for I'm sure. I'm playing that. Yeah. All in. Pass. Do you know what? I can see him ended Pass. up with 12,000 here. <laughs> Uh, strategy here for Tabata to buy it because it's gonna rise and isolate but you see it's under the gun and he's just not sure but oh, oh this is even better for him yeah oh. it's fantastic yes. spot for uh for Paul Grummet this is a little 16,000 oh my gosh <laughs> he can hardly believe it get in there my son he's gonna be asking to cash out if he wins this come on the jack oh Ooh. Check, check. Yep. Check. Now, why does Tabatabai check there? Um, I probably think that he's just not too sure if his ace is any good. He's no need to bet it. He could be walking into a five. He's got two other. He's got small and big blind behind him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he thinks he's okay now. Check. <laughs> this check. idea, don't yep. bluff check. into a dry side pot. Or is he thinking, look, uh, I may be able to actually get some money on the river. Oh. And he's gonna now, isn't he? Now he just might get a little bit off dial. Paul's gonna be thinking he's good after this has been checked all the way. Yeah, I feel a bit bad <coughs> for Paul. I think John just smooth calls here. Well, the th it's so unlikely, Dale. That's four of a kind, isn't it? Yeah. He's gonna flat raise him. Raise to 8,000. I know it sounds a little bit clearer. And Dale has to call. It's a nice little value bit there, by okay. Bad news for Paul Grummet. So close, but the record will not be set today. I thought I'd nicked it. Oh! <laughs> that's about oh, takes the cool. pot. Bad luck. Well done, lads. And for well Paul, good luck. we're off to obviously the big coup good luck. against the Kings. Don't waste them, Dale. See you later. Uh, first all downtown. Take care, mate. Cheers, all the best. Nice play with you. Thank you. It's been an, an odd sort of match because, I mean, it's like there hasn't been much action, but punctuated, Mark, by huge, huge coups. And uh, Dale Hoy and Channing um, have got their big coups, and Tabat to buy, of course, uh, a lot of little ones. Yeah, and um, Paul, like, he was unable to get away, flop the queen. He's played queen, king, queen, high flop. He hasn't done much wrong there. Pippa's walked into a few uh, traps. And uh, Dale's now our new chip leader. This one's still up in the air, and it's not going to be all about the flash for cash after this. Just a random in property break. break. Well, they thought this table Just was going to be exciting, and it break. hasn't disappointed. It's actually turned the world now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone from stuff to the world. <laughs> it's, the world. it's late night, channel oh. five. Things going well with Dale. I guess, I guess 45 million views. I'll <coughs> oh, raise. Raise? Really? That's what I've been told. I'm all in. All in. You know what's funny? I saw one of I'm these hits in Australia. That's really? Actually, actually, I saw it really old. And, uh, I saw yeah. a really I mean, old one now that Dale's been raised, from like how much is that now? I don't think it's a lot. Yeah, it's 25. Uh, sure it's I can see him yeah. calling there. Who else was in it? He's got great chips. Chance to knock someone out. Small amount of money. I kept seeing Marty Smith winning his bracelet. Getting six to four. But the World Series one. Not much here, I think it's a no-brainer. It's a call. Monkey, 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 monkey. He's doubling me up or sending me out. It's not a monkey, it's a pony, tell him. Well, I mean, in Dale's mind, he'll figure that very likely that Monkey's got an ace, I guess. But it's one. It was definitely one or the other. Can we have them all low? Yeah, there's a place. race. Okay. It's uh, I mean, Monkey can't be too upset. A spot for him to double up. Yeah, it's just a bit real close, isn't it? You know, I'd yeah, like to have luck. seen him turn over sevens. <coughs> oh, I didn't like that. Oh, he did not sword. like yeah. that. He's on fire at the moment, Dale. <laughs> he cannot miss, can he? Probably sure fire that an eight's coming on the river now. We've said that. Just an eight then. It's just the eight. You can see Dale. Uh, 
Yeah, you can see Dale just sort of swinging his way into every pot. He's hitting okay. it left, he's hitting it right. Knocked out Monkey Harris. And uh, we'll be down to four here. I mean, Pippa's still in. She looked like she was going to be first out, but uh, it's no consolation to Monkey. It was an odd way for the money to go in. I mean, the limp with the King Jack and then calling off, uh, you know, 25,000. But it, it all works, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, in the end, it's uh, unfortunate for, um, but, you know, unfortunate for Harris. And uh, it's all like, uh, goodbye, Monkey. Oh. <sighs> Stop tilting me. Talking about that hand just frustrates me that you bluffed me. I'm sorry. I pick up my best hand and I get bluffed out of it. Was that your best hand? Pocket tense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're Neil done. Neil Channing, uh, here's Pippa Fine. I know. It's almost like he hasn't even gotten out of first gear yet. I mean, you know. 17,000. Everything has 17, been so effortless for him tonight. Yeah, and this one might not be. Johnny's definitely putting a, a rise into him here. And because he's out of position, is it more of a reason to re-raise? Or is it just a hand? To find the hand? Yeah, he's, um, he's found a hand. There's no way he thinks Neil's got a better hand than him. It's a button move to steal blinds. I fancy he makes it about 35, 40,000. All those, and uh, I think you're right. Forty it looks like forty-five. Forty-five thousand. Which is how much is this? Yeah. It's twenty-eight okay. more thousand. Are these in Can we just? It's. Uh, I mean, it's. I think this is more of an exercise on Neil's part to see whether he, he can make John pass. So that's like more than he wants to know how much it is to set him in. I don't think he's going to set him in. It's okay, just thinking, not so much if I set him in and he calls, am I in trouble? Or has he got John got the ability to pass? I mean, he could quite easily think John's making a counter move on right, him. I mean, Channing knows that his hand is better than it needs to be to yes. raise from the button. Mm. Yes. But it's also not a great hand if it's a genuine re-raise, right? Correct. But, but does he think this is a genuine re-rise and it's very easy to think it's not that's the whole point uh, Tabby Tabby's lost a few pots lately might feel like this is a good spot to get back in the game with a good second raise well, if they do clash here one of them's going that's for sure if they don't go they're going to be straight down to the felt <coughs> I see Neil passing here because ace jack I mean he'd almost be more likely to push with nines here than ace jack right or is it not about that? I, I honestly think he thinks John's putting the move on him. That can be the only way that he carries on with the hand. If for one second yeah. he thinks John's actually got a hand, he's going to pass because Ice Jack's no good to him. It's real. It, it's, this is where great players have to make a good decision, right? Yeah, but I mean, what you have to think on Neil's part is um, he's only put a small amount of chips oh, into the pot, 17,000. Now he's going to have to put almost all of his chips in. At the end of the I'm day, sure he's got Ace Jack. Quite what good, what yeah. if John's at it with a nine queen? Amazing. You know, it's a race. So your best spot is your, like, a 60-40 favourite. And the worst spot is you could be a real dog. I'm going to fold. Pass. I think the best thing. Yeah, that's exactly. It sounds yes. like Channing and you on the same wavelength, Mark. Yeah, well played. Time. You know, the, I mean, the first time Dale Hoy played one of these televised tournaments, I, he wasn't even confident yes. on the rules of Texas Hold'em. And I mean, how far he has come on. He's a player now. Raised to 12,000 total. Pass. As you were saying, now it's time. All in. Yeah, Three go raise, on. All in. She waited, she waited, she found the time. But he can't. 20, you know. 22 to call, 22, he's calling. He has to, right? Yeah. He doesn't like it, he knows he's not winning, but he's definitely not passing. Yeah. Cool. And he's not that far behind? Nope. 71,000 in the pot. Can Pippa win a race? Does the furrowed brow mean, what is that? 
Good luck. Good luck, Phil. It's Jack Seven, and that's right at the top of John's range. What are the other guys rooting for? They rooting for Pippa? Um, I'm not too sure. It's either a player gone, yeah. or yeah, it's fine. you know John weakened, and probably a player gone actually makes more sense. Not often I lose these. Jack or seven. Those are the cards that'll knock Pippa Flanders out. Or else she'll basically have the most chips she's had since hand number, what was it, six? Double up. Yep. That's end. No respect. <coughs> I'll tell you, what a story it would be if she flies. comes back from this. Yeah. Second nut flush during the nice. first level. Oh, she gets away from it. <laughs> you know, as well as that, I mean, not only did she play that well not to lose a hand, I know it's a while ago now, but... You have to remember that she's bided the time and got back into this game. Two people have gone out in the meantime. Yeah. And I bet if you ask her the question after the end, whatever the result is, she was very close to putting that king and flush down. Oh, that would have been funny, wouldn't it? Uh-oh! Trouble! Yep. We said that clash, and here it is. Oh! Uh oh Wow, well, that wow. Channing is not going to like this. It's a pretty easy fold for Dale, isn't it? Yeah, he, he, he's going to fold. He just wants to give him the stare and then fold. Um, does this make Tobi 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 actually a favourite in the hand? or? Oh. <coughs> um, the maths of it actually is going to change it slightly, but I'm um, pretty sure that the sixes are still in front. Uh, no, they didn't. And, uh, I mean, auto automatic from both players, really. Uh, Channing said, I hope you've got ace queen. Wow, he's good. Can stay quiet. Well, I don't mind about the six. I folded a pair of sixes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. I'm, I'm relying on you know, winning sometimes, by sometimes, sometimes, sort of queen sometimes when a guy that says that, then the six pops. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. But no, Dale's telling the truth here. I think that was the quickest call. Um, Dale's some change? It, it yeah. is, it is tabby tabby all well, in, but there's not that much between them. You don't need change. I mean, well, there's one thing for sure. It's his ice or a coin. There's no redraw. There might not be any sixes, though. Oh. That is true. Now, John would like a paired eight, it's king or nine. I don't want it to pair up on the turn. It's going to be a ten. Neil knows that's a bad card. A paired card is a bad card. If John misses a paired card, is a card. If John misses a paired card, is horrible. What am I going to have? I'm going to have 108 outs. Wow. Just the six outs. I'm done. Well, then, John was playing with Take care. And you he's, he's a pleasure to have at the table, Take John Tavatavai. And I thought he played really good tonight, Mark. I mean, yeah, he's an absolute gent, real nice guy, and uh, he'll be back. And even if he goes the wrong way, he'll be back again. <laughs> he knows his way at the poker table, just doesn't know his way off it. <laughs> As silly as it sounds, I really thought I was going to win this and go through to the next round at least. But, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm a little bit disappointed, but if you let, you know, if you keep letting all... In poker you're going to have more disappointments than successes, and if you let it bother you, then you just, it's just going to affect your game and your mindset, which is really difficult. <coughs> Channing, looming large all of a sudden. You knew the comeback was on the table, didn't you? Yep, we sure did. And it's also, I mean, when you've, when you've fought as hard as Pippa has, you know, with that short stack, you just don't yeah. want to see it all go up in a ball of smoke, the least, do you? The least she wants now is a turbo, so, you know, it, it, it's tough to and make it, these marginal moves. Right. I mean, maybe she thinks she's, she just is, looks stronger by raising on the button, and that maybe Dale is giving her more credit than Neil would. I don't know. But this way, obviously, she has all to get in. through two hands all instead in. of one. Yeah. Wow, yes. quick fold with the king ten. Oh, cool. Hello, cool. And it is the first ace that yeah. Dale's seen in a while. Yeah. Right. Um, he's right to call as far as the hands go, really but it's actually, you know, it's, it's kind of expensive for him. I mean, he loses this. Uh, he's lost the chip lead, and Pippa has got like 150. Would you feel it for her? Does she feel it? Jack or nine? Hmm, a few more eights. Not looking tough. good. Just the six outs, but the river? Two of clubs. 
crossbow. She's fought crossbow. valiantly. Hey, yeah, she's done very well. Well, okay. nice playing with you. Thank you very much. Out in third, the Lovely World game. Open champion. Pippa went a long time without having to win a big race all in, but she finally got looked up and couldn't catch up. I don't know who wants it the most, but you know who wants it more. Plenty more poker to come in a minute. back to the European Open 5. It's I never easy to make win. the semi-final, but sometimes it's more harder than the next. Like, for Dale Hoy right no now, see. he's played great. No he looks see. good, he feels oh. good, he's getting good cards, and he's got the chip you lead. But what does he got to get through? The immovable mountain, the unstoppable force, Neil Channing, who I don't know has ever lost at this stage of this format. Channing is the man in form, yeah. the man with a plan, and Mark, uh, is he the favorite even though he's out-chipped? Yeah, uh, most definitely. Um, and that's nothing taken away from Dale. Neil plays cash games, he has no life except from poker. Uh, Dale, I believe, does have a life, so yeah, Channing's big favorite. Dale Hoy, obviously, yeah, he's not a professional, but at the same time, this is probably Dale Hoy at his best. I mean, this is him right now. He's firing on every cylinder. You know, uh, he's had that deep finish in the World Series. He's got confidence. And yeah. he's playing aggressive. For sure. I mean, he's not scared and he's making the moves. He's going to put Neil to the test for sure. 42 total. Raised to 42,000 total. And for Dale, this is the chance. He makes a raise here. I he's not, he's he not will, to know, is he? He's not to know. No, of course not. But I mean, by the same token, how, how can you call and, you know, think you're okay? I if think you think you're winning, if you think you're winning, have a bash. And if you think you're not, let's see the next hand. He's definitely considering three options. I mean, which is he going to eliminate first? Cool. The call. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Floppy says. And Channing's not delighted about this. No, of course not. Of course not. It, it, it makes things really difficult for Neil now. I mean, is it possible to put Hoy on a hand range here? Yep. Is and if he checks this, he could well get a bet out of Neil. Check. It's tough not to make the continuation bet when there's 84,000 in there, isn't it? Very tough. Especially Check. Check. Wow. Oh. I'm just thinking, I mean... Oh, oh boy. yeah. Channing now drawing dead. But, I mean, Dale's not to know this because there's three diamonds on board. No. 65,000. 65,000. Yeah, that's enough for Neil. The only way he can make it is a massive all-in, which is a huge, huge gamble. Yeah, I mean, Dale's Dale Dale ain't folded. No, no way. He doesn't know that he's going to be walking into a massive bet, but... It just wouldn't be the one away no. where he wants to go out. He doesn't have to risk it that much. Boy, he hits the flop, takes the money. And that'll make him feel good. There is a similar thing going on here. Um, to, I mean, I remember when you got head up in your match. I, I feel like Neil is going to avoid big pots like the death. It's not a thing of who thinks who is the best player. Right. If in your mind you are comfortable playing someone, play lots and lots of small pots. If you're not comfortable, gamble. Now, I'm pretty sure in Neil's mind he's feeling comfortable playing this format. Dale seems to be feeling just as comfortable. But I feel Dale's going to push his chips around heavier than Neil with. And Neil doesn't need to do that. I won't. Oh, cool. Fall in. Uh -oh. Whoa. The quick call. No good with a king ten. What's he got? It's an ace. It's an ace and an eight. He knew. And, uh... Wow. He knew. I mean, Dale always... Got, I mean, has Channing ever been beat? Heads up? In well, if you look at this coup as well, even if he loses, yeah, it's almost a flip again, you know. Right, right. It's, got it's a great spot for Dale Hoy, isn't it? And Ace-8, the hand he knocked out Pippa with. It's been lucky for him tonight. Dangerous board. Yeah. Neil's got a jack as well now. A couple more eggs now. Mm. The flop again. Yeah. 
<laughs> Neil's, Neil's understanding that even though that gave him another four outs, his position's worse. Hart, no good. Hoy's got the ace backed up, That's so. so good. It's got him. There's kings, there's tens beside the heart, and jacks beside kings, the heart. Kings, tens, and jacks, but there can't be hearts. Eight outs. Oh, oh my life. Tell you 183. What? I tell you That's what. He's like a vampire. I mean, he is like a vampire, Neil Channing. You know, there's there's only three ways to kill him. It has to be at a certain hour of the day, and you need to sharpen steak. You know, I mean, holy cow! What is his Achilles' heel? I don't know. Could you just imagine the love child of Roland DeWolf and Neil Channing? <laughs> For Dale Hoy, that was it. One card away. There was only what was it? Eight cards in the deck. Was that it? Black yeah. Jack. You just know. I mean, no matter what happens here, it's like in about four days, Dale's going to be sitting at dinner eating a bowl of soup. The spoon's going to get halfway to his mouth, and he's going to no. go, that Jack. He'd, that Jack. he'd be drinking out of a straw because he'd have punched his own teeth in, wouldn't he? <coughs> uh, he could call or he could push. Well, the, the problem he's got here is he, he, he realizes he could have put Dale on a bit of a tilt here and a, and a raise from Neil, which he wants to oh. do. Of course he wants to raise with his hand, you know, but okay. he's thinking, I'm going to lose pot control if I raise, yes. and he re-raises me. I can't call. Yeah, he's, he's, he adapts well, this Channy. Dale's saying, flop me something. Check. Do you know what? I can see this pot getting busy. I'm all in. All in. He's just not going to take him for an ace. And he's going to be thinking his five's good enough. It's such a big bet that Channing made. This is sick. I mean, Hoy's, he's, he's got to say to himself, nobody would he, even if, first of all, he doesn't think he has an ace. Six, six, six. And nobody would push all in an ace, would they? No, the push all in is exactly what he thinks it is, which is a draw. So if it's a draw... More than likely, he's only got one over card, uh, two over cards to his five, but not an over card to his queen. Of course, he limped with an ace. He's talking himself into the fact that he's limped with an ace. So uh, he's saying it looks so much like that it's not an ace that it must be an ace. Definitely the sort of thing I might do. Huh? Channing better be careful. He doesn't annoy Dale into calling. Yeah. <laughs> you have to ask yourself: Why would it be limp shove? Right. Why would it be limp, shove? And as you can see from the stats, even though Neil's behind, <laughs> he's still in a good spot. Right, he's a slight favourite here. Yeah. But if he could see Dale's hand, he'd probably still funk for a fold, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd still <coughs> probably make the same move. I think I'm ahead now. Wow. It would be a pretty... It would be a great yeah. call, wouldn't it? Starting to think he's ahead. Would you call here with Dale's hand? Um, personally, I wouldn't. Um, just because I do think there are better spots. But I've only put 15 in a pot and again. You could well have limped with it. I pass. I think I'm ahead. It ain't showing them. No. Well, tell me later. I was favourite. You were ahead, but I was favourite. That's the end of the seven and fifteen thousand. I mean, does the level change up to ten and twenty now? Does it help Channing or does it help Hoy? Um, I think what you're going to find is almost certainly the range now is widening. That both players are either going to shove with or call with, and uh, Neil's got a little bit, just a little bit more cautious than Dale because he's got Dale down to the point where it's very hard to fold. Okay. There's nowhere to go. I'm 10 and 20,000. I mean, it's the second limping. highest level, but it feels up. like it's going to be a decisive one. Dale needs to get his double up during this level because uh, I can't see how he can see out this level without taking a hit. I'm away. Yeah, I'm cool. in, I'm cool. Whoa. Oh, there Queen we go. Jack, it's it's probably life. behind, but. Uh, got two lives, huh? Two live on. Yeah, oh, live yeah, cards. 64. Live cards. And uh, the right play from Hoy, uh, isn't it? Yeah, I must be due to win one. Uh, well, 60 40. That's anybody's game. No pictures, no pictures. We know what's going to happen with Mark, don't we? Here comes the flop. Deuce, ace, deuce, ace deuce. 10. Deuce, deuce, deuce. No, it'll come uh, 
Queen, Queen, Ace, Ace. That ain't very good. Uh, uh, it could be a chop. Six, eight. They're Paint. talking it out. The Small Queen, card. the Jack. Head aboard. Oh. Oh. How about oh, that, mate? He says, Dale yeah, Hoy. Ace on the river. It wouldn't be, would it? It, oh. it wouldn't be. Nobody's that cruel. Cool. Oh. <laughs> and Dale Hoy, chip leader. Dale, I want to race. Ugh. Well, oh. now they've both got sweat pouring off both their brows. <coughs> and you feel he was due to win a race. Um, you know, I mean, he didn't mean he would uh, win it, but I mean, he just felt it was coming. 360, 240. That's only about three big blinds in it. This is a tough game. I mean, trust me, I don't feel that bad now. <laughs> Look at how happy he is now. I mean, oh, talk about a man with his heart on his sleeve, Mark. He's still talking about the hand he lost when he's just won one. <laughs> wow. When anyone ever says, trust me, you know they're lying. <laughs> I kind of like the all-in here. I don't know what Neil has, but I kind of like the all-in. I told you. Slow down a bit there. Yeah. Moved all in with that hand last time. And there's 40,000 out there. Wow. Whoa. Check. 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 No, unfortunately for Neil, even though he's flopped a monster, he's just not going to get anything here. Club. Club will be kind of interesting. I mean... Oh, wow. don't put a six there. That is just criminal. <laughs> criminal. 50,000. You can't call. Cool. Oh. 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 I, I mean, the pot is big enough now where Neil, in the back of his mind, has to take Hoy for a club. I mean, isn't a club oh, Dale's Catherine, best card? Catherine. Deuce. Any old the club is uh, definitely Dale's best Deuce way of watch. winning this. I'm all in. All in. Well, he's not going to get a call, obviously, but that's one a big part for him to take down. really ironic there. If the deuce of clubs go. <laughs> no, I pass anyway. But we're really pass. ironic if a jack had come on the river. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would have been good. That would have been, been really, that, yeah. really nice. In what respect would that have been really nice? <laughs> <laughs> have some of that. Oh, you had it as well. Thanks, Dave. You can't beat this geezer. <laughs> you can't beat this geezer. I think that's pretty geezer. I think we're level, Neil. You cannot close. beat this geezer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's three apiece. Top drawer, white flag, prime cut. 15 and 30,000. I mean, you know the chatting's going, oh Come no. Cool. We got Hold really. Oh, oh, and a king queen. That could be <laughs> oh, winning. Wow. By Nail's face, I think it is. Uh, yeah. It's train. in front. Way, way in front. An all in. Five I don't. I just. I mean, Channing's got some chips left, but he'll only have 30,000 left if he doesn't win oh, this. This is Dale Hoy. I mean, I don't yeah. understand what he makes that. The range that <laughs> Dale's going to call with him is pretty big. It's not like he needs aces or anything like that. He's going to call. But if you haven't forgot, you are Neil ace, Channing. Any ace he's going to call true. with. Well, he's called he's King Queen. They've only got so ten I mean. big blinds. They've only got ten big blinds each. Oh, oh my lord! Just look, just look, look at, at that this. flop for five eight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my word! Four nine is basically actually a five and it's nine. over. Five and it's over. Four five, four five eight and nine it's over. That's it. Well, it's eight for a split. I like it, Dan. Unbelievable. Now what place? Well, we'll come on. There's your best in the crap sheet. Yeah, you're king on the river. Isn't it? Oh, right. That's sick as that. I think I'm gonna have fifteen. I'll million. tell you what. That uh, is so sick. You know. As I said, you are Neil Channing. Three hundred. Fifteen. Somebody else in knows. Twice I got it in good. Yeah. I bet Mark will be enjoying this one. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh. <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah. Okay. He was way behind. But you, you make those pushes because if you get called, you can get lucky. I mean, Hoy, you know, obviously. He, he made a mistake, he got looked up, and he got lucky. And um, at the end of the day, there's nothing you can do about that. I feel sorry for Dale, he played well, and uh, 
you know. That's the way. That's poker. It's a killer. I, I'm, I can't tell you how sick I feel at the moment. I'm sick to the pit of my stomach, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, but in a, on the other hand, I really did enjoy the game, right? And uh, but it is just. It's Neil Channing, that's all I can say. <laughs> but fair play to him, I respect Neil, he's a, he's a great player, so. I'm delighted to be uh, in the semis. Um, I, I, uh, I used to have a record of making the semis quite a lot and then immediately getting knocked out. So um, uh, the last time I played one of these semis, I actually made the final. So I'm hoping that uh, I've kind of cracked it and got the knack of it now. The Party Poker European Open 5 continues when a former plastic surgeon goes to work on an Irish millionaire and some fish and chips. There'll be WSOP bracelets in town and a colorblind builder on the table. Don't miss it.